Hello everyone, this is Teo. Today I'm going to review these colored pencils from Core Inno. These are called Polycolor. It says here these pencils are for drawing, illustrating, of course, for coloring. They have silky strokes, light fast, high pigmentation, and blendable. I'm not sure how light fast they are, so I'll just uh, provide you with a link to the light fast rating in the video description below. These are made in Czech, and these are the 12 colors. This is a very nice metal box. Now, Polycolor is very affordable compared to other brands, and they are sold in sets. Here I have 12 pencils. They are also available in sets of 24, 36, and 72. They are also available individually. So let's take a look at the pencil. The pencil is hexagonal in design. The thickness is similar to a typical wooden pencil. The wood is cedar wood. I'm not sure if this is a wax or oil-based core. Some say it's wax-based, some say it's oil-based. Coinor says it has wax and oil. Anyway, that's not important to me because I'm just going to test it out and see how it performs. Before I swatch the colors, let's sharpen the pencil. The pencils, they are very easy to sharpen and the core, it's quite hard. I don't have problems with the core breaking. This is the only yellow I have in my box set. The name of the color is actually not on the pencil. They just have a number to represent the color. It's quite easy to lay down the color. The way the colors are laid on the paper, it feels very similar to Faber-Castell Polychromos. This is Faber-Castell Polychromos. Maybe slightly less creamy. So I guess you have to press down a bit harder if you want really intense colors. These are the 12 colors. They look quite vibrant to me. I don't use color pencils much, so I don't really know what to look out for. All I can say is um, they are quite good for drawing and for coloring, it's quite easy to lay down the colors. So let's try some color blending. Let's try red over yellow. And then let's have blue over red. Let's try the other red. And let's try yellow and blue. The colors layer quite well. Let's see what happens when I press really hard. The paper that I'm using has fine green texture. Let's layer yellow over the blue. So the core, it's really quite hard. It's not going to break easily. And I think it layers uh, quite nicely. This is how the colors look when reflected against light. There is no sheen or gloss. It's not reflective at all. Let's see how the colors erase. They erase uh, quite well. Let's draw something with the color pencils and later on paint watercolor over it and after I paint watercolor over it I'm going to apply color pencil over the 
watercolor again and see how they work together. This is hot press watercolor paper. This pencil is very good for drawing. And now let's paint. So it looks like the pencil it's water resistant very water resistant by the way it works very well with watercolor and now let's go over the watercolor with the color pencils it works well The yellow and green from earlier was actually the green that was mixed with the yellow and blue pencil was actually quite good so let me try and do that here Add a little bit of green. Let's see what happens when we have red over the blue. So this is actually quite opaque, relatively speaking. So this combination of colored pencil and watercolor, it works really well. You can use color pencil first and apply watercolor or you can apply color pencil over the watercolor. It looks good either way. This is hot press watercolor paper by the way. It has a very smooth surface that works really well with colored pencils. And because the paper is not that rough so it doesn't take off a lot of the core. So you don't have to sharpen the pencil that often. If you use cold press or rough watercolor paper, you're going to have to sharpen the pencil very often. This is how colored pencil looks on cold press watercolor paper. The lines, they are very rough. The colored pencils will get blunt very quickly and it's very difficult to draw really thin lines or details. And you can see a lot of white of the paper because the lines they break up so easily. So the Koi Inor Polycolor colored pencils, they are really worth the money. They are relatively inexpensive and the quality is reasonably good. So these are pencils that I can recommend to beginners very easily. If you happen to be using these pencils, I would love to find out what you have to say about them. Let me know in the comment section below. I hope this video is helpful, thanks for watching and do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so for more art product reviews. See you guys in the next video, bye!